It's no doubt my own DNA that makes me want to find out more and to hit the road again. The idea of making evolution evolve, of mastering living codes and sequences in order to create biological machines capable of solving our problems, means that most scientists have their eyes firmly fixed on the future. But some of them are also interested in solutions that have been forgotten and overlooked in the mists and meanders of the past. I therefore decide to visit a man whose name became famous well beyond the boundaries of the scientific community when it was wrongly suggested he wanted to revive Neanderthal man. I'm uh, George Church, Professor of Genetics at Harvard Medical School and Director of the Personal Genome Project. When I was very young, I lived on the water. And there was a dragonfly nymph, which looks like a, you know, it's a wingless water creature, turns into a winged air creature. And I thought that metamorphosis was remarkable. And it made me want to not only watch, but influence. From very early on, we learn how to manipulate biological systems. My mother and I did uh, breeding of flowers and other grafting of branches onto trees. I was introduced to the idea that biology isn't all natural. Gardening is unnatural, and that's a good thing. When later I realized that you couldn't just watch and think, you had to actually test ideas when later I got introduced to real technology where you could read and write DNA completely arbitrarily and to manipulate biological systems, which is synthetic biology. My motivations in synthetic biology are that many problems in the world either are biological problems or have biological solutions food distribution and quality of nutrition, infectious disease, aging, cancer, all these are inherently biological. But there are other things where biology can be used for non-biological things, to purify water, to provide the next generation of molecular computing, DNA storage, and so forth. So, so biology represents a lot of solutions. When a scientist with the stature of a Greek god predicts so many miraculous solutions to save the planet, I'm just stunned. Transform life into a global factory? A universal machine that can manufacture anything and everything? Synthetic biology suddenly appears to be a goose that can lay golden eggs. Can any organism make any chemical? I think probably yes. Life can make just about anything. It's not limited to life making life. You can probably make plants and animals make anything. The interesting question is, what can't you do? Every day it seems less and less. Living systems will take salts and turn them into metals, into semiconductors. Oh, good girl. The beauty of biology is it can make atomically precise things and it self-assembles. So instead of having to individually screw in every bolt, you give it the basic idea and it will do the rest for you. And this is, this is wonderful, this, this is truly new. Synthetic biology is the next industrial revolution.